to questions for oral answer, and the first question stands in the name of Dr Jackie Blue. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My oh, question Jackie is Blue. to the Minister of Health and asks, what reports has he received on improvements to elective surgery? The Hon. Tony Ryle. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I have seen a number of reports that show in the eight years between 2000 and 2001 and 2007-2008 the number of people getting elective surgery in New Zealand rose an average of 1,432 a year, or just 10,021 over those eight years. This was well behind population growth. Dr Jackie Blue. To the Minister, what reports has he seen of the results for the 2008-2009 year just ended? Speaker, the Tony Ryan. Uh, I've just uh, received the preliminary results for 2008-09. Uh, the preliminary results show that the number of people getting elective surgery in 2008-09 was 130,216 patients, a record increase of 12,265 patients. This is the largest increase in the history of the public health system and higher in one year than under eight years of labour and doubling the budget. How can New Zealanders who are waiting for complex surgery have any faith in him when he has directed district health boards to improve discharge numbers, which can be achieved by doing lots of minor surgery, rather than improving case-weighted numbers, which gives a true picture of the amount and type of surgery being carried out. Honourable Tony Ryle. Well, what the member will find out, of course, is that more New Zealanders than ever before are getting elective surgery. And it was her party's history that they doubled the budget and in eight years they couldn't achieve what's happened in the last 12 months. The Honourable Ruth Dyson. Why did he fail to answer my parliamentary question due on the 12th of August until 1.57 today, asking about discharges and case-weighted procedures? Was it because it shows he is manipulating the figures, or did he forget about, did he forget about the question in the same way that yesterday he forgot about the four draft Horn reports he'd received? And he also forgot about the dinner that he'd had with Murray Horn and his colleagues to discuss the recommendations. Which was it? The Honourable Tony Ryle. Mr Speaker, I think what is clear from that response, uh, that question, is that member doesn't appreciate the fact that what this government is trying to do is tidy up the mess that we inherited from her and her colleagues where, despite a doubling of the health budget, fewer New Zealanders got elective surgery. Dr Jack, point of order, the Honourable Darren Hughes. Mr Speaker, the Honourable Ruth Dyson's question was about uh, the answer she had received to a question about the Minister's portfolio. He gave a political uh, attack and response and went no way towards responding to the question she had put. Uh, I'm... I, uh, I, can, I sympathise with the Honourable Member's point of order and the answer uh, perhaps uh, you know, wasn't quite what the member would have wanted, but then one has to accept the question was also very long and in fact got into some quite subjective stuff being in in inserted into that question. And it was a very long question with, with assertions and all sorts of things in it, so I fear I cannot assist the honourable member with a question like that. Dr Jackie Blue. Thank you. To the Minister, how does this increase in over 12,000 compare to the government's goals for increasing elective surgery? Honourable Tony Ryan. Uh, Mr Speaker, when the government came to power, we made it clear that we had a goal of lifting the number of people getting elective surgery by an average of 4,000 a year, which was nearly treble uh, the growth that there had been under the Labour Party in order to match population growth. Uh, in short, the government has delivered that total increase it aimed for over that three years over the last period. Here we go. Dr Jackie Blue. To the Minister, what were the increases in particular elective surgical specialties? Honourable Tony Ryle. Oh, Mr Speaker, uh, the preliminary information shows that there were increases in nearly all elective surgical specialties, including orthopaedics, ENT, plastics and ophthalmology. 
but the largest increase was in general surgery, which had actually decreased between 2000, 2001 and 2000, 2007, 2008 under Labor. In the year just completed, the number of people getting elective surgery rose to over 29,000, an uh, rather general surgery uh, rose to over 29,000, an increase of around 11 per cent. Question number two, the Honourable point of order, the Honourable Ruth Dyson. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table the email trail between the Minister's office and my office requesting an answer on time to the overdue question that I alluded to in my supplementary question. Leave is sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection.